Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about a topic that has been explosively popular on my channel ever since I first brought it up just over a year ago now. It is gonna be controversial. It's gonna get steamy. It's gonna get saucy. There's gonna be some mixed opinions, but we are gonna get into it because that's what we do here. We keep it real. So with no further ado, make sure you keep on watching. Guys, gals, non-binary people, getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? Let me tell y'all, every time I go to film, the lighting goes to crap. Like, I'm hoping the lighting is okay right now, but I cannot bring it, like, I cannot find the strength within myself to like readjust my lighting setup one more time. You know what the problem is? The problem is I say to myself, all right, today is gonna be a filming day. We are gonna get out some content because y'all have been waiting for this content. I know you've been waiting. And so I have a shower, I find a cute outfit, I do my hair, I do my makeup, I set up the lighting setup, I do all my test shots. And by the time I've done all of that, it's so late in the day. Now the light that's coming in from my bedroom window is screwing with my whole setup. So look, it is what it is. Should have burned this place down when I had a chance. That's all I can say about that. Also, every time I go to film, I swear it will be so quiet outside my apartment all day. And then randomly like helicopters will start flying, flying over a head like. <laughs> I need to be more organized and start filming earlier. And yes, I am getting back to doing some regular weekly content for you all, so don't worry about that. I did take a little break. I had lots of other things going on. It just hit the fuck out of it! But we are getting back into it. And today, we're talking about fantasies, specifically fantasies women have. It was just over a year ago now that I made a video on this channel, which was really just supposed to be a random chit chatty video. And I did not expect it to be as popular and as controversial as it was. It was actually based off a column that I wrote for my, so many of you know, I've got a weekly sex column on news.com.au, which is an Australian website. Yes, I'm Aussie. Some of you think that I am English. I guess a lot of people that watch this channel are in the United States. And I think there are people in the United States that genuinely cannot tell the difference between like an Aussie accent and an English accent. But I've never even been to the UK. I've never been to England. So this is an Aussie accent. I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, Anyway, we're going off on tangents today. This is what happens when I take a break away from YouTube. I'm not structured, I'm just blabbering away. But we're getting to the point, we're getting to the point now, which is that I write for a well-known Australian website called news.com.au and I've got a weekly sex column. And one week, just over a year ago now, I wrote a column about open relationships. And let me tell you, the response was huge and it was so huge that i decided to do a very casual chit chatty video about it. it wasn't a structured video it was a video like this where i was just talking randomly and i really did not expect that video to take off how it did but to this day it's still one of the most popular videos on my channel and so i want to talk about it open relationships in general whether you like it whether you don't like it whether you agree with it whether you don't agree with it they are a hundred percent becoming more popular more people are exploring the concept of polyamory. And if you're not familiar with that term, polyamory means many loves. So poly means many and amory means loves. Polyamory has been used as sort of an umbrella term to mean everything from sexually open relationships to people having full on throuples, which is where there's literally three people that are all in the relationship together, which personally sounds like my idea of hell because I can barely manage a relationship with one other person. The thought of trying to keep two people happy, I'm too old for it. I'm just too old for it. Snaps to the people that can do it, let me tell you, but this bitch is just too old for that. So polyamory has been used as a bit of an umbrella term to classify all different types of essentially like non-monogamy because monogamy is just sticking with one person for the relationship. Even the concept of monogamy itself has changed. So monogamy used to be one person for life. But people today who say, well, I'm a monogamous person, they don't really mean monogamy in the strict sense of the word because that's what monogamy means. It means mono, one, 
for life, one person for life. The way people see monogamy today is one person at a time because most of us are cycling through lots of relationships. A relationship doesn't work out and then we go into and get into another one. So we're not at all sticking with one person. We're going with lots of different people, but we're staying with one person at a time. People have started to feel a bit more comfortable exploring relationship structures that are outside of that. It used to be presented to us that monogamy was the only way to have a relationship. And if that didn't suit you, well, you just basically had to deal with it. Or if you did do something a little different, you had to be very ashamed and do it in, in privacy. But now there are whole dating apps for people to explore being open. There's actually a very popular dating app uh, called Feld. I believe it is spelled F-E-E-L-D. I will find the name of it and put it in the description down below. This is definitely not sponsored. And it is specifically there for people that are exploring opening up their relationships. So couples, whether that be same sex couples or heterosexual couples that are wanting to explore opening the relationship. So like I said, there are lots of different ways to open your relationship. Opening your relationship can be doing something that I did in my own relationship a couple of years ago and I talked about it on this channel, which was being completely emotionally monogamous to one person, but every so often my partner or I would go and have sex with other people. And we had a whole arrangement around what that looked like. And when I spoke about it at the time, a lot of people said, well, you know, isn't that putting your relationship at risk of like destroying the relationship? Now, I mean, it's obviously interesting because my relationship did actually end after that. That was the last relationship I ever had with a man. And that was when I really realized I am just a big old lesbian, just a giant homo. I really just am. Yeah, I want to be a lesbian. Me too. We can all be lesbians. Okay, let's just move on. And it was through having that open relationship where I was able to freely go and be with other women that I was able to fully have that realization that I hadn't been able to do that before. But the reality is, is that if someone is going to cheat on you, if someone is going to fall out of love with you, if a relationship is going to not work and it's gonna fall apart, then that's gonna happen regardless. Whether you're having an open relationship or a strictly super conventional monogamous relationship, if someone is going to fall out of love with you, if they're gonna develop like a crush on the person they work with, or maybe they, you know, have a realization that they are gay like I did. I mean, I think that's less common, but it happens, right? It's not gonna matter whether or not your relationship is open or not. The reality is, relationships often break down and don't work. In fact, the majority of the relationships we have, and I don't know why people seem to have a really hard time getting their minds around this, the majority of the relationships we have do not last. They are not lifelong relationships. The vast majority, the one you're in right now, could quite likely not be a relationship that lasts for life. And I think it's so silly that we tell ourselves, well, if the relationship didn't last, then the whole thing was a failure because it's such a strange way to look at relationships. The way I see it is a relationship can be hugely successful and it can be written off as a success just because it lasted for only a year or two years or 10 years or two months or 10 months doesn't matter. The benchmark of a successful relationship should not be that the two of you both made it into the grave together. That actually sounds quite depressing to me. Funnily enough, since coming out as gay, I would actually consider myself now to be quite monogamous. I did used to always think that I potentially was just maybe not a monogamous person because I always felt so restless and just sort of low level unhappy in my relationships. And I assumed that was because I didn't like monogamy. I've since realized that was because I didn't want to be in a relationship with a man. Yeah, so there's that. So, but now uh, since being in relationships with women, I definitely, at least for now, I definitely uh, prefer to just strictly be with one person and not be open. And so our preferences can evolve and change. To go back to this, this article that I wrote and this video that I made just over a year ago now, when I spoke about this, what I was talking about in particular was the response when I wrote that column that I got from women. Because we, we get told that it's men that always want to explore sexually and they need to have all these different partners. But this is really just urban legend because we get told that women don't like sex and this is also a complete fallacy. When I wrote that column about opening up your relationship, the 
huge, massive, overwhelming response I got was from women. And it was women asking me, how can I open up my own relationship? How can I talk to my husband or my boyfriend about the fact that I would like to explore being with other people. And for some women it was exploring their sexuality and exploring their queerness because there are a lot of women out there that are starting to wonder now. And I think especially since the pandemic, because people had a lot of time to just kind of sit around and think during the that time during all the lockdowns. And a lot of people got on TikTok. And TikTok introduced a lot of people to the fact that they might not have been a hundred percent hetero. That algorithm that algorithm will pick up on pick up on what you're into a lot sooner than what you will. Let me tell you, gosh, probably would have came out a lot sooner if TikTok had been around a lot earlier on in my life, actually, yeah. Because my whole TikTok al algorithm, it's just, it's just all women. I'm so gay. <laughs> so my point is there are a lot of people wanting to explore, but specifically there are a lot of women wanting to explore and they're worried to approach their partners about this because of the shame that we still put around it and this idea that if you want to be physical with another person that means you don't love your partner this could not be more untrue love and sex are two completely separate things you can be physical with someone else and still love your partner now i do fully understand that there are people watching right now that are just fuming your blood is boiling this is really getting under your skin and um, you, you feel that this is absolutely wrong and you can only, if you love someone, you can only be with that person. And to those people, I would say. Great. Fantastic. You should do that. I, I really want to stress, and I don't think people understood this when I made my last video on this topic. I'm not here to encourage people to get into open relationships. And I'm definitely not here to tell people to cheat because I do not agree with infidelity. I think that infidelity is a factor of being in romantic relationships and something that unfortunately does happen to the most of us, but I'm not here to promote it or say I'm okay with it. I'm talking about open arrangements where you consensually and openly and honestly and clearly talk to your partner about this. But I'm also saying this is not for everyone. And if this is really not sitting well with you right now and you feel the need to leave a big, long, angry comment telling me that I'm depraved. This girl is the nastiest skank bitch don't just click off this video and return to your life that is super monogamous and traditional that's fine i'm not here to judge anyone i'm all for doing what works for you but i'm also here for getting real through my job as a sex columnist i do get to really hear a lot of people's private intimate thoughts about sex, sexuality and relationships and something that I hear again and again from women and that I've especially heard since I made that video just over a year ago now is that it's a huge fantasy for them to explore being with someone else. Most women just want to do it as a physical thing and they want to do it as just a random one-off thing and for some women it's exploring being with another woman but because we still act like there is one way and one way alone to have a healthy relationship. There are a lot of women out there that are scared to bring this up with their partners. And so I think if you can be a bit more secure, and I'm speaking really specifically to straight men here, if you can be a bit more secure in yourself as a man and in what you bring to the table and in your relationship, and you know that you have a strong foundation in your relationship, because this isn't something I recommend doing, by the way, if your relationship's on the rocks. This is something you do when you have a really strong, healthy relationship with great communication and phenomenal trust. And if you can be more secure in your relationship and in yourself as a man, then this should not pose a threat to your relationship. It's something you can talk about and it's something you can revisit. The great thing with open relationships is it's an ongoing discussion. So if at any time either of you doesn't feel comfortable with it, you can rein it back in and say, let's go back to being monogamous for a while. We'll revisit this in the future once we've had more time to sit with it. Or you can change up the rules because I absolutely recommend having rules rather than just going free reign. Put rules in place like I did when I explored this a couple of years ago, which is things like, we don't sleep with someone who is one of our mutual friends because things could get really messy if that happened. We don't bring people back to our home because we see that as our sacred place that's just for us. Or what a lot of people will say is, we don't see people separately, we see them together. So some people will have the two of you go out as a couple, you find someone at a bar, or you go on a polyamorous dating app like Feld, you find someone, often that's a woman, it's um, sometimes referred to as a unicorn because it's, 
unicorns are rare and women that want to be with a couple are generally pretty rare and you make an arrangement with that person to to essentially have a physical encounter with you and your partner there are lots of great ways to go about it using an app that is specifically set up for that is the best way to do it i don't recommend randomly sliding into people's dms on instagram or um you know necessarily propositioning someone you know that you just meet out it's something that's not for everyone and it can be quite intimidating for a lot of people so go and check out an app like Feld. but i think it's important to talk about these topics this is what this channel is here for i know not everyone's going to agree with this and like i say i'm not here to convince anyone of anything i'm just here to say that there are other relationship models out there and personally i it makes me really happy it makes me really happy to see that people that don't fit that one mold, which we've been telling everyone you must fit into, this is the only way to have a relationship, now have other options available to them. Because let's face it, the reality is when marriage was first becoming like a thing, like a popular social cultural thing, we were living till like 40, 45, maybe 50 years old. So when we said till death do us part, that wasn't a very long time to just be sleeping with the same person. Now we're saying till death do us part and going, my God, how much longer are you going to be here? We're getting old now and you're still hanging around. So, so we're spending a lot longer with each other and we naturally are just wanting to spice it up. We're wanting variety. And so if you can build trust with your partner and have honest conversations, there's no reason why you can't explore this safely and consensually and just do it little by little and take your time. Now, I would love for people to use the comments section who are feeling brave enough to share if you've ever tried being open, what has worked for you really well when you've tried this and maybe what hasn't worked. Share your learnings with the audience here because there are lots of people that are watching that are super curious to try this out and that's why I'm talking about it. Also, if you have questions about how to do this, how to start, things that you don't think I've really covered here because I've really only just touched the very tip of the iceberg. Ask me in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I'm talking about topics like this all the time on this channel and general sex education. So you'll find heaps more of that here and hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, YouTube won't actually let you know when my videos are going up. So if you guys are subscribed and you haven't hit that notification bell, some of you will say to me, oh, I haven't seen a video go up. No, that's because you haven't hit the notification bell. So go hit that notification bell. Now you'll find it under the video, that little bell symbol. And obviously like this video if you enjoyed this more relaxed style. If you are like, oh my gosh, Nadia, you just talked too much. This is too ranty. This is too chit chatty for me. Feel free to give it a thumbs down. That's what that's there for. Is that still there? Actually, did YouTube remove the thumbs down? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. If it is there, you can use it. If it's not, you can just let me know in the comment section. But just all I ask is that you all be respectful. Let's all be respectful of the fact that there are more than one way to have a relationship and there's more than one way for people to be. And if people aren't directly hurting you, let people live. Please just let people live. And if you don't like this content, I've got news for you. You don't have to watch it, but I hope you do. And I hope you get something out of it. And I hope you stick around and you join my sex positive family. And I will see you all in the next video.